what is going on guys so in tonight's video i want to do a nighttime walk around i'll try to do a full in-depth one versus the first one that i got or first one that we did when we first got it this one's going to really focus on since i have the car for quite some time now we're going to really focus on the nighttime lights and right here this is the 25th anniversary 2023 model year Sienna it's based off the XSE but it has limited features and I'll go ahead and talk about the limited features later but here it is now as we approach the car it's gonna sense the proximity key and then these puddle lights are gonna turn on these are the LED lights that we see right here the auto folding mirrors it's pretty bright it lights up the floor like so a good amount of light then when you walk away it fades away and then completing the walk around right here we are going to turn on the car take a look at the interior all right this is the wind chill pearl at nighttime and you can see it's a pearlescent color versus just a flat white, right? And the LED here is nice and bright. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the car. And give you a look in the front. Right here we have the DRLs or the daytime running lights. That's the design right here. I think starting from the XSE, you do get these designs. These are not by, um, by LED, so it doesn't have a projector-based LED. That, that comes in the platinum trim. Now we're gonna go ahead and open the vehicle, the door. And here you have the interior lighting. It's very, um, it's okay lighting. It's decently bright. But these are not LEDs from my understanding. These are incandescent, has a warmer tone versus a bright, cooler color. And in terms of footwell lighting, there are none. In terms of illum illuminated door sills, right here we have the all-exclusive Sienna. I believe these are a la carte option, but these are quote unquote standard on the 25th. And we do have some puddle lights here next to the door. And that is about it. Now we do have LED in the center console right under the bridge. It looks brighter under the camera, but in person, it's not that bright. One thing about the XSC that I learned was that it has LED an ambient light strip right under the shelf, right over there. Now for that to work, um, I want it to be a lot brighter, but it really is not. And you really have to kind of sit at eye level to actually see it. So if you want it to be a lot brighter, you might have to go aftermarket. Speaking about aftermarket, we do have an aftermarket uh, footwell lighting that we see. That here's a remote. I'm gonna turn on the car in a few seconds and you see that we have some aftermarket footwell lighting. Um, push start spot, uh, push start spot, the push start, <laughs> the push start stop button is right there if you can see and the mid system is right there this is only the 4.2 inch so there you go and walking to the back again incandescent lighting i'm gonna go ahead and open the back door nope i have to unlock the door for that to happen all right actually where is it okay so there you go And here we have a, a view of the interior. Again, non-LEDs. We have a side map lighting right there in the second row. You have one right above here. You have one large one right above in the third row, right? And then we're gonna move to the back.
And then right under the N is a Sienna. And then here's the power hatch that comes standard on the XLE and above. The LE is still manual. And what I noticed was on the first night, I didn't notice this was actually turned off. So it's kind of recessed up here on the hatch. So I didn't know that there was a light here. So you do get a little bit of basic lighting and really nothing to, uh, to speak home about. Um, it's very dim, all right? So the first night, it's gonna shut off like that. So I have to actually go ahead and turn it on. And there you go. But I definitely wanna go ahead and uh, do an LED option. An LED alternative. Now, the power tailgate, the button right here is illuminated. All right, we have LED tail lights here, but incandescent reverse lights and turn signals. So we have to do an LED option for that as well. A little side reflector right here on the sliding doors. Um, Right along here, this is illuminated, or it should be illuminated for the power sliding door. I think the car has to be on first. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn the car on right now. Let's go ahead and just turn it on right now. And I'll give you a nice clip of the animation when you turn it on. All right, so right here, I'm gonna shut off the car. There you go. Let's turn on the car. So it illuminates XSE. And there you have the LED output. And then we have the nine inch infotainment system. And then here is a lighting right here. A couple of buttons illuminated. You kind of have like a white blue theme going on. And some red accents. And right along the steering wheel, here you have the color scheme. It's uh, more of a cooler blue. And right along here, same thing, blue, blue. And right along here, all the window switches are illuminated. No ambient lighting on the side doors. And here you see the ambient lighting right on the shelf. Again, really dim. When you're sitting at eye level, you don't see it at all. So there you go. You don't see it much. But, I mean, when you're sitting at like kind of like above view, overview, you can't see it. But when you're sitting at eye level, there you see it. So I think when you're sitting further back in the passenger, the second row, then you definitely do see it. Here you, we have the aftermarket um, ambient lighting for the footwells. This is a, I think this is a, uh, a white LED color. We do have a remote here that you can kind of set to different colors. So I'll give you guys a look. This is going to be set to blue to kind of match the rest of the vehicle, I guess, right? And the Scion right here, this kind of matches too with the LED, the, the ambient light under the shelf, but stuck with the white and I think the white looks pretty good right so there we go we're sticking with the white for now and then I'm gonna go ahead and shut off or turn the the light into I think uh, daytime running lights only so we'll give you a look at the daytime running lights so these are the parking light mode I can see as you can see from here parking lights uh, all these uh, Right here, all these footwell lightings are are on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on for now. Give you guys a look at the at the back. So hopefully the beeping will stop. And yes, it does. And here is the footwell lighting. Right here, right under. So this is all aftermarket. There's like four bars that I zip tied underneath, and then it gives it a little bit more a personality, a little bit more of a interior lighting but you see you have the parking amber right there the side markers right there and then here you see again the LED design 
for the daytime running lights. So pretty nice. I don't believe you get this design for the XLE and the LEs. I think it has to be XSE and an above. All right, so here you go. Side marker bulb. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the hazards for you so you get a look at the blinkers. Right there are the hazards. Again, here you have the aftermarket footwell lighting. The Sienna, very nice. Sienna is all blue as well. So these are not LED. I might be uh, looking at a sequential option right there. But we're going back to the rear again. It's a longer video than anticipated. But here you have the rear LED. It's very nice. Very modern, still not like Audi level, you know. Um, it's going to be nicer if it has kind of like a LED strip that runs right across. But again, these are incandescent turn signals right here. And last but not least, I'll give you a little bit more lighting for the second row here. And then I think right here, yep. The power door button right here for the side door is illuminated, so that's good. At first, I didn't know that, you know, I thought it wasn't, but it's nice to see that it's illuminated. I'll give you, I'll give you guys a, a look at the interior. Right here. Now, um, a lot, it's very spacious here. Uh, don't let that grunt fool you, but here we have illuminated window switches right here. And then, let's take a look. This is the third row. This is how it looks from the interior. It looks a lot brighter, but these are not LED. It may look a lot brighter. It might be just the camera. Um, but we have an overhead, the quad zone climate control. We have that, that's a color scheme right there. And overall, that is it. Oh, actually, illuminated uh, USB-C A, USB-C in the rear and I think that's about it right and then one more if you remove the armrest right here and you pop the center console illuminated USB-C and USB-C A and you remove this aftermarket tray right here you also have illuminated deep storage console from factory so if it auto focuses great but if it doesn't try to move back a little bit All right but you guys get the point pretty dope pretty nice it's a pretty deep console center console as well so put this in like so and wow that's a lot of headroom for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the hazards off. Um, and here you have a closer look from far away of the ambient lighting for the shelf. Again, compared to the aftermarket ones, not bright at all. You hardly notice it. I really wish for it to have kind of like ambient lighting throughout the doors, right? Yeah, so I'll kind of think of aftermarket solution for that. But so far, these aftermarket uh, footwell lightings are doing the trick. I'm very surprised. And again, here you see it. And the overhead lighting, again, here you go. A blue theme. Can't wait to kind of put some LED bulbs, replace it. Um, are these illuminated? Nope, these USB-C. No, nope. these are not illuminated. Um, I think that's about it, right? So, overall, I just want to end it, conclude it with a final walk around. So here you go. This is the nighttime walk around of the 25th anniversary lighting scheme throughout 
I'm not going to turn on the full LED headlights. It's not going to, you know, um, it's not really going to pick it up from the camera anyway. So that is about it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this was helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.